to everybody. Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap. So I've had a couple people interested in where their gold traps are made. Um, no names mentioned, but so I'm going to give you an updated. Some of you have already seen the Green Mountain Gold Trap shop, and there's been a major addition today. Um, so I'll give you guys a, an updated view of where the Green Mountain Gold Traps are made. So I also want to thank all of my subscribers, every single one of you. Um, to me, you're not subscribers. You're part of the Green Mountain Gold Trap family, and I thank you all. Um, thank you to the new subscribers and all of you. So, And I also want to give a shout-out to John, the assistant manager now. He used to work at the Pro Desk back during the development stages of Green Mountain Gold Trap. I knew what I wanted to do, but I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to use. So I went to John, and he helped me. He came up with some ideas, and they were very good ideas. So when you buy the Green Mountain Gold Traps, John is in the mix. <laughs> so thanks, John. But uh, he went from the pro desk to the service desk in charge of the service desk, and like within days, he became, and I just found out today, the assistant manager of Home Depot. And he actually helped today. Um, we asked for somebody else to come and help myself and my neighbor. Shout out to uh, um, shout out to my neighbor as well um, because he helped me with uh, going to get this saw. So I thank you, Travis. But anyway, so this is the Green Mountain Gold Trap Shop. Over here we have the uh, <laughs> the PlayStation of Green Mountain Gold Trap, not to be confused with the game system. Um, we got uh, packing paper, and um, there's the article that um, myself, Green Mountain Gold Trap, and Center of the Earth Mining, Terry, um, were mentioned in that article. It was the May-June 2019 issue. Um, it's about history and treasures abound, prospecting New England. So that was pretty cool. And then we've got uh, uh, circular saw blade sharpener, various things hanging up for shipping and stamps and screws, excess screws and uh, bits and just all kinds of stuff. Uh, uh, paper cutter. Got my circular saw. Got different stuff hanging here. And we got the drill press and the belt sander and always, always, always safety gear, safety gear, apron, big deal, right? <laughs> grinder, another bench grinder, stereo system. I'd have it on right now, but I'd get a strike. It's on, but the volume's turned down. I don't want to get a strike. And thanks to Terrence, Center of the Earth Mining, Terry, he actually likes Terry better than Terrence, um, he gave me this uh, this metal break. He bought it to build one thing and he says, well, it's just in my way, I'll give it to you. So he blessed me with that, thanks Terry. And of course I've got his sticker up here, Center of the Earth Mining, pretty appropriate. Um, different sanding stuff. And we got a heat gun, circular saw, which I hope I won't be needing anymore as a result of getting the new saw today. Benches, or not benches, shelves for uh, aluminum rails and sides, the sides to the gold traps and the scoops and the skid plates and tubes, some jigs up in here. And of course the table saw with my sled that I made. And that is the new saw. That is quite the piece of equipment. I love it. It's going to speed up production tremendously. So it comes with tape measures for vertical and horizontal cuts. You've got your tape measure here. Um, for vertical cut or horizontal cuts and then you've got your tape measures on either side over here for horizontal cuts but the tape measure only goes to 30 inches well 30 and a quarter so the scoops to the three foot 
are longer than 30 and a quarter so I just dropped this piece in here and it's dead on dead on right to the end is where I need to run my sheet when I want to cut my pieces I just butt it up flush with the end of this and zip it so that works good and this thing I'll tell you once I got it all together um, I had to put on the motor the the saw itself the guard the blade the tension pulley I had to put this thing in to keep the coid cord out of the way and I had to install my extension pieces for cutting full length sheets and then calibrate that to make sure that these wheels these rollers jive with these rollers and everything is perfectly calibrated I did some test cuts um, I took some scrap wood and I basically I cut off all four I cut off one end flipped it cut it flipped it cut it flipped it cut it so all four sides were cut and then I checked it for square dead on and then I calibrated because you can slide these tapes so you want to put your regular tape measure up against the blade before putting the guard on put a tape measure up against the blade and then calibrate your your tapes on either side according to what the tape measure is saying so that's that's dead on I, I tested that I cut a piece and tested it right on the money right on the money so that is great this thing is going to be awesome and then we've got more shelves over here for more cut pieces the smaller stuff um, for building the, the removable capture tray and so on and so forth and then of course over here this is my main workbench and uh, I put in new shelves down there I've got the 23 inch pay streak finder boxes for shipping there I've got the three foot boxes behind that shelf over there uh, am I missing anything <laughs> oh dingus and Eva thanks to him I have this nice laminate trimmer which I still have to learn how to use good for what I'm doing but it's gonna come in really really handy I'm thinking I might even be able to do engraving with it possibly I'm, I'm pretty sure I can and I'm sure Dingus will correct me on that because I'm, this man's a genius when it comes to all this stuff I mean I I had no clue just how much of a genius he is when it comes to this stuff and he'll probably give me a hard time for calling him a genius but anyway whatever I love you brother <laughs> so that's pretty much everything chair to kick back and relax in if you get a little tired you want to sit down oh and peanuts uh, gotta have peanuts gotta have peanuts it was uh, back in what I don't know early spring I ordered 30 pounds that's the last of them <laughs> so that's it folks um, I think I've I've showed you everything pretty much um, people also want me to like do a video on how it's made but sorry until the uh, patent trademark office actually opens my file and grants me the patent right now I'm just patent pending that's uh, secret information I'm just not going to share it until that time comes so um, there's the uh, pick and shovel ad classified ad I've got the map of the United States and all the states I've sold into brochure my drawings from the patent stuff all the patent information first dollar made certificate of course completion with the United States Patent Trademark Office because I studied everything that's when I had my patent search done. That's from the patent attorney. So, anyway, I just thought I'd give you guys, along with those, I mean, the two people that asked, so everybody else gets a little bonus and gets to see where everything's done. Oh, and eventually, um, part of the, most of the shop is concrete floor but this section over here behind this shelf and way out front is still dirt floor so once we pour concrete in this section 
the shop's going to get extended that way over to that area where those posts are and the I'm going to be getting a new table saw something that's higher end and calibrated properly this is a Ryobi and it's not perfectly calibrated I need perfectly calibrated um, so making cuts with this is uh, it's it's doable but you got to be on your on your ball um, so I'll get another table saw that'll go over there and then in this whole area here this square area is going to be a um, a CNC router eventually so that's it and in after this there's going to be uh, a little bit of footage from the river from the other day when myself hung and Nick went to the river um, Nick got probably about 10 15 pieces hung got about maybe 20 and I got two but I came to the determination that it wasn't about me that day it was about them and I'm perfectly good with that. I enjoyed myself. I love I love being able to teach. So it, it gives me great pleasure to to share my experience with other people. All right. Thanks all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, and uh, hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you know when I'm posting stuff. Take care, everybody. Take me to the green mountains Cause that's where the gold is at If you wanna bend the rules Tell them this is not a sluice It's just a fluid bed And it's simply shovel fed If you wanna get more gold Then I'll tell you where they're sold Green Mountain Gold Trap. Made with pride in Vermont, USA. Order online at GreenMountainGoldTrap.com or call 802-236-3886. Green Mountain Gold Trap. Yeah. Nick. <laughs> and guess who joined the, the Billy Goat Club? Hung actually made it down in here with us. Can you imagine that? You're only as old as you feel. So, I was eyeballing this over here, up in here, because when that water cranks around that corner down there, it's hitting up against all this ledge and pushing the water over this way. So all this over in here is gonna be low pressure zone. And with what I've done down there, and Nick also, with crevicing, I can't help but think there's got to be something over in here, so I want to check that out. And water gets way up, way up in there when it's really high. So we'll see what we can do.
I just got to show everybody this. Get some matting. Stick it in the bottom of that thing. You got yourself a regular old sluice box. <laughs> that is cool. Alright, well I'm going to go check on Hung and see if she's found anything yet. I just took a bunch of material from up in there. I got a nice big piece up in there. Got about a quarter of a five gallon bucket from up, up in that spot. So I'm gonna run it in a minute here after Nick. I forgot and only brought one pan today, so. 